and I can't fast forward through it, so I have to listen to it every single time. <laughs> Okay, new game. Player name Easy. Uh. Fuck to death. So, they found it again, have they? Here I we thought go. we'd taken care of it. The uh, forces of evil are persistent, sir. I'm getting too old for this. Who have we got lined up to deal with this problem? Wait, uh, Murphy, whose sir. voice is that? Oh, no, not Murphy. I'm afraid so, sir. What about Spade or Marlowe? Hey, uh, and welcome. Dead, sir. Isn't there anyone else? Sorry, sir, he's next on the list. Well, I suppose we'll have to make do. Whose voice Knowing is that? Murphy, is that not, he's um... He's going to need help. Uh, A lot of help. Shit! I'll check the archives and get back to you, sir. Yeah, it's Udina, isn't it? No, not Udina. No, 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 no. Its, it's uh, Allied other guy. Are on the march. Beck, Beck, not Beckett. The troops Hackett. Of the it's not Hackett. Alliance are it's occupied with the other guy. Duty of out the remaining Is it Keith David? The storming of Berlin has crushed the heart of German opposition and sent remnants of the Fuhrer's troops scurrying the into the dark reaches of the Black Forest. The Germans have vowed to fight to the last man in their quest for world domination. But their days are numbered, with Adolf Hitler dead and the once dreaded SS disbanded. The Allies have exposed the workings of the Nazi war machine and found it festering with ancient blood cults, whose rituals and ceremonies are too astonishing and barbaric to detail. Allied forces will not rest until the last cult member has been revealed and captured. No pestilence has ever been so fatal or so hideous. <laughs> Blood was his avatar and its seal. God, what a wonderful voice. Blood. Oh my God. Ah, this is so good. Getting like a weird clicking. Do you hear that? What is happening? I have a feeling I might need to walk through for this. Wow, that was. Just, <laughs> did we already? Okay. A genetic mutation caused by the radiation. I'm one of them. Oh, lucky Most you. of them live in the new city, but I don't. I live among the unlucky souls, the mutants and the destitute, and the wreckage of old San Francisco. 
My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a private detective. Or at least I used to be. Since my marriage hit the rocks, I haven't done much of anything. I went out tonight for the first time in a week, but all I ended up doing was spending the last of my money on a bottle of cheap bourbon. Oh my god, I love this. Now it's past midnight, and I'm staring out of the window of my office on the second floor of the Ritz Hotel. Just like me, the Ritz used to be something. Now it's just another grimy building in a rundown part of town. And I'm almost out of bourbon. <laughs> my god, Murphy, you look like hell. Really hit bottom, didn't you? <laughs> Is that Donald Trump? Oh, I usually don't look this bad. I forgot to take my Geritol this morning. So, you want a drink? I saved my first one to have with you. No, thanks. I've been dry for eight years now. Yep, one morning I just looked in the mirror and decided I needed to make a few lifestyle changes. Quit smoking, quit drinking. Now I'm getting out of the business. Yep, I'm gonna move to the tropics and retire in a nice secluded island with a tribe of beautiful young women. <laughs> yeah, right, You're Getting bud. out of the business. I guess that means the end of the world must be around the corner because you are the detective. I can't imagine you doing anything else, especially not running around an island with a bunch of nubile women in a loincloth. No, I can imagine it. I've been thinking about it for years now. John, I think it came out in 95. You know how it is. I think. Lonely. Underappreciated. Dangerous. I haven't had a decent night's sleep in 38 years. I tell you, I'm working on a case right now, and that's 94. Oh, oh my god. Enough about me. How about you, Tex? How's life treating you? Bad as it looks? <laughs> well, it depends. What day is it anyway today? Saturday? Hello, Anung. Well, Welcome. Saturdays aren't too bad. It's normally Thursday by the time I get really suicidal. <laughs> what the fuck? So what is it you wanted? Just come by to sprinkle a little salt into the uh, open wounds of my pathetic life? No, 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 Tex, you got me all wrong. <laughs> no, just because you turned me in and got me suspended and humiliated me in front of my peers, you sold me out. But that's all in the past. See, I quit hating you for that weeks ago. <laughs> eh, like I said, I'll be leaving soon. And I didn't want to go with any loose ends dangling there to bother me in my golden years. <sighs> hey, don't worry about me. When you tossed me out of the agency, it was the best thing that ever happened. Digging through dumpsters and sleeping in abandoned speeders. You helped me learn a great lesson. Because no matter how bad things are, they can always get worse. So what happened to you? I heard you were doing pretty well there for a while. Did I help a job on that Martian memorandum case? What's your problem? You one of those people can't live with success? Huh? This is the weirdest open ever. Well, I can live with it. I'm just afraid of commitment. Now you tell me something. Why wouldn't you talk to me 15 years ago? I was a stupid kid back then. Could have tried to understand why I told the ethics board what I did. I mean, I understand now that I was out of line and I made a mistake, but why'd you cut me off like that? Yeah. Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a P.I. And never, ever betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. you got to find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them. A precious commodity to people like me and you. Now listen, before I go, I came here with a warning. I heard your name mentioned in connection with a case that I'm working on. Oh. And you stay out of it. If you don't, somebody's going to find you floating in the bay with a hole in your head. Oh. I don't need any more strain on my conscience. Okay. You know, frankly, I'm pretty insulted. Because I'm a pretty damn good detective. And I can take care of myself. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Let's remember what I said, Tex. Got no idea what kind of people we're dealing with here. Just keep out of my way. I'll send you a postcard. <laughs> what is a 
Okay, they must have intentionally spelled that so wrong. So last night, after 15 years, the colonel walks into my office. Made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've oh, had Oh, thank you, Pazlo, for the resubscribe 23 months. You rock! I gotta find some work. This one Contrary is under a killing moon, think, Anung. I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. Okay. So what do I do now? Press spacebar to walk around. Oh, good lord. Guys, it's just gonna be like Phantasmagoria where I'm just walking around, doing a lot of walking around. <laughs> Listen to this music. All right, so space bar. Oh my, what the hell? Okay, so the way that I'm controlling this is with the mouse. And I think I need to turn down mouse sensitivity a little bit because that was a little crazy. What am I supposed to do? Okay, I want to look at these. These. The office was actually a dance studio before I moved in. And Latin dancing is a Murphy family tradition. Is that right? All right, what about this? Great, great grandpa Murphy made it through the depression by teaching cha-cha lessons to rich older women. He made thousands before the authorities found out he had no formal training. Oh, so he's a crook, huh? The dusty credenza I've got serves only one purpose, and that's to keep the dust off the floor. That's the door to the street. Okay. My phonograph's an old family heirloom. Uh -huh. I love to play the classics. Cool in the gang, peaches and herb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Okay. All right, so then get, move, open, talk, on and off. So can I... Hey, Heavy Metal, welcome. This pure mountain spring water is indispensable, literally. I'm out of paper cups. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> wow, it's great music. Love that. Ah, uh, Sylvia, my ex-wife. Whenever I think things can't get any worse, I think about her and how she totally screwed up my life. Okay. She's a woman who loves a man, any man, any time. I'll never forget the day I came home early and caught her with the upholstery man. Oh, there you are. I just got done with the chair. I'll be sending the bill to your husband. Oh, Rudy. Let's not think about my husband right now. I was I was watching you upholstery and you're so big and strong. Do you really think so? Well, yes. God, I've only known you for ten minutes and I feel oh like my God. I've known you forever. <laughs> oh, yes, look. And look at this muscle. Oh. I'm the way dying. you hold me, Tex, Tex never held me like this. <clears throat> oh, kiss me, Rudy, and set my lips on fire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Oh, Tex, honey. I wasn't expecting you home so soon. Well, duh. Obviously. <laughs> now I know why the Rota Rooter man keeps calling and asking whether we need our plumbing checked. Well, I got to admit, those chairs look pretty good. Uh, thanks. Listen, how about I don't charge you on the labor and we call it even? Fair enough. But from here on out, Rudy, customer servicing doesn't include my wife. See, honey? I saved you some money again. Aren't you happy? <laughs> I married her for better or worse. What is Unfortunately, happening? it never got any better. Oh my god, that, that is the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. That hutch holds a life's worth of knickknacks, paddywhacks, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. 
Oh, well, that's nice. This piece of art is called Two Whales on a Bender. Two Whales? This one really isn't art. It's a placemat from Taco Bob's. Taco Bob's. Okay. This cabinet is where my old successes go to die. Uh. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, no, 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 my don't. Ex-wife. No! Whenever I think. Oh, there you are. Okay. I married her for better or Whatever. Okay, so that's how I skip. Okay, good. The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything. And I ought to know. Okay, so is there anything... Oh, uh, okay. What about over in this corner? What's this? That's a perfect bed for a destitute PI. Small, lightweight, no sheets required. <laughs> oh, <laughs> romantic. I call this painting, uh, The Big Spill. Okay. What about... Well, since the building inspector has only one eye and no depth perception, the hotel manager painted fire extinguishers in all the apartments. It saved him a bundle. The stupid light switch is stuck in the on position. Could be worse, I guess. Okay. So, what else can we look at? Um, did I look at these? The UI of U was the only place that would accept me. Half the course credit was earned by locating the university. <laughs> I like his personality. He's very sarcastic. What is this in the corner? It's like... Oh. Is that a key? What is that on the table? My gun. I love it so much! <laughs> Oh my god. How do I pick it? Oh, okay, cool. Old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam. Hey, bam, bam, bam. Bam. <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> bam. And you. <laughs> I'm dead. This is the funniest shit ever. Hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't... Don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. <laughs> oh, my hell. No matter how bad things got, I always had my gun. Now I've lost that, too. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those days. Oh, interesting. So... It'll light up if I can pick things up. So that's just the look, look, look. Okay, can I look? Can I pick up any of these? The giant macaroni? Oh, I can open it. How do I do that though? Is there a hand? Can I, oh. Hold on. Oh! Cool! Ah, uh, nothing here but nostalgia. This cabinet is where my old successes go to die. Uh... Can I open... Oh, it's just the top one? I can't open Ah, uh, nothing here but nostalgia. Okay. That's freaking cool, man. Okay. So I just have to mouse over these things and see if I can use more of them. Is there anything? Uh oh. Nothing here, eh? So if I mouse over that, it says open. Okay. What's on that on the floor? It's like stuff right here. You can see my you can see my mouse. Okay, good. Um, can I open this door? Ah, the closet door. What's in your closet? More of the same closet. All I've ever needed was a soft felt fedora, a well tailored overcoat, and a comfy pair of sneakers. Some people know what they like, and they stay with it. Okay, let's. Ah, the closet door. I'm trying to close it. All I've ever needed was a soft felt for- Shut up. I am thoroughly entertained by this game so far. 
Okay. Uh, is there anything else? Another pile of garbage. There just aren't enough hours in the day. Okay. So none of this stuff I can look at, move. Oh, I can move things. Did I make that an option? Like these chairs and stuff? What about this chair? No. Look, look. What about... Oops. Sorry. Ah! 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 My god, the, the, the controls on this is so weird! Because ah! if you want to move forward, you would literally move the mouse forward instead of using W, so that's like really disorienting. Maybe I need to be like closer. This is okay, we don't want to look at the wife again. Things look pretty slow on the street today. Is there something on top of the should I? Oh, this is so weird. Oh my god. What is this? On or off? How do I? Crimelink computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color, I can access the suspect's personal files. Oh, now I can turn it on. Oh, cool! Look at my computer! <laughs> Hey, Trav. Crime link. We make it stick. Oriental? Oof. Okay. <laughs> oh, but at least they have other genders besides male and female. That's good. Mutant? Yes, no. Okay. Oh, God. Other. Other. 6'5". Over 320 pounds. Red-headed. Three-eyed. Gray eyes. Typo negative. Shoe size 15. Hunchback. Naked lady. Chest. Has four legs. Are you kidding me? There's a hundred plus possible matches for that? Amazing. Love that. Love all of that. Needle marks? <laughs> oh, gold eyes, black, red, green. Previous. Oh, this is so fucking cool. Okay. Uh... What's oh, is this just Crime Link Computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the Sorry, let me No Quit. Is this another crime link? I bought this table so I wouldn't have to sit on the floor when I use my computer. Is this the computer right here? Crime Link Computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color. Yeah, 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 whatever. They really don't make games like this anymore, do they? Um... What is that? Oh, great. Another incoming message that won't print out. If I don't get a new fax machine, I'll be out of business. Oh, shit. Okay, let, let me- I want to look at the things that are on the table. Hip-hop English?! Do you see this? Do you see this book? Hip hop English keeps me up on all the slang kids are using today. <laughs> oh my god! Ay, ay, ay. They really don't make them anymore like they used to. Okay, I'm just gonna like turn it like this. They look a little bit more. It's really bright. I don't know why it's doing that. It's really annoying. Okay. Ah, uh, the fabulous Dior lamp. I bought it for 77 cents. <laughs> SoCal says, I love how that kid still has the gun and we're just checking out the apartment. Hey, I want to be thorough. Toxic okay? Taste is a novel by Lou G. Trundle, the only mutant popular enough to make the New York Times bestseller list. Lou G? World War Four. 
A dark and reactionary vision of the coming century by Rush Limbaugh. The Rush Third. Limbaugh! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. This my phone so had worked perfectly if it hadn't been disconnected. Uh, the oh, fabulous. Sorry. I already clicked on that. Okay. Uh, shall we leave the apartment? Whoops, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I looked at everything, right? Like, there's no... Oh my god, this is so disorienting! Oh my god! Uh, okay. Shall we... That's the door to the street. Did I... Can I move here? Oh, oh, wait, there's mail on the floor. Uh, shit, forward, 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 forward. Uh. Oh boy, mail. So can I pick it up or get? Oh boy, mail. How do I... Can I read it? It's a credit card application. Examine. Pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. hmm. Okay, and then what's this? Examine. Tomorrow, 9 a.m., the electronic shop will open its newly remodeled store and offer a veritable bonanza of bargains. Dongles, fax machines. I love how fax machines are still being used in 2042. Remote control toys, stereos, vid phones, doohickeys, thingers, whatchamacallits, and much, much more. Be sure to check out the unbelievable prices on our own line of dandy products. Remember to bring your electronic shop credit card and plan to stay late. You won't believe the deals. Oh, can't I use the credit card to buy a new fax machine? <laughs> okay, let's do it. A pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. I'm having so much fun right now. How do I... How do I, uh... How do I do what I want to do? <laughs> Is there a way that I can combine the two? Can I do that? Or, or not? Or no? No? I don't know what I'm doing. Text? Te text? How do I... Oh wait, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Let's go to examine. pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. Signed, stamped, and mailed. So should we go to this sale? So should I get the signed, stamped, and mailed first and then go to this thing? Perhaps? What does this mean? Oh, wow. Ah, cool! Okay. Uh... What is this? Oh. Okay. How freaking cool is this little thing? Oh, don't hint. Mailing the credit card application for the... How do I do that? No, I want to figure it out. Don't tell me how to do it. I want to figure it out. How do I... Can I leave and then... Can I exit out of this? Okay. What does A, B, and C mean? What's this? This gift certificate entitles the holder to one free com cosmetic job courtesy of the Real You Surgical Clinic. 30 minutes to a better you. Well, damn. Maybe I'll get, I'll get a nose job. Ugh. Uh, no joke, Rush Limbaugh once approached my wife working at Walmart. He kept asking her if she had heard of Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking idiot. Uh, 
So can we, can we, can we do this? Can I leave? The air outside feels thick, like I'm breathing through a pair of dirty gym socks. It's a high radiation day. Most everyone will be staying inside, but I need to hunt for some work. I always like to start the day with the traditional P.I. breakfast. Mmm, <coughs> that hits the spot. <laughs> oh, 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 God, I'm falling backwards! Ah! Am I... Can I go... Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm spinning out of control! <laughs> All hell has broken loose since the government stopped requiring products to display those give-a-who-don't-pollute symbols. This is the brand new electronic shop outlet. No pun intended. I won't be able to get inside the electronic shop until I get a membership card. My trusty 31 lightning bolt speeder. I oh. still regret not getting the sunroof option. What was that? I'm trying really hard not to like go crazy with the mouse, but it's it's difficult. Hey, bitch! What's up, girl? Chelsea's a hot little number. I hear she's a mutant, but it doesn't show. The only weird thing about her is she won't go out with me. Yeah, it's because you're so desirable. Chelsea Bando's the kind that could hold her own with anyone, but she has a way of turning my knees to jelly. She's a mutant, just like everyone else in this part of town, but she's a real beauty. Well, hello, stranger. Oh my god. If I could cringe any harder, I would. Okay. Charmingly curious. Let's do that. Tell me, gorgeous. Has the new true detective come in yet? Yeah, but you gotta pay for it this time. Hey, when you finish a magazine, it is in no condition to sell. Macho, sarcastic retort. <laughs> You're a riot, Chelsea. You ought to be doing stand-up. No, 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 no. Look, I do enough stand-up work right here. So can I help you with something? Ask about... Who are these people? Rook acts like a tough guy, but he's a softy. Just don't tell him that to his face. Okay. Can I press B? Will that end it? Oh, okay. Cool. Chelsea runs a first-rate newsstand. Does she now? Okay, well, let's move away from Chelsea. Oh, 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 there's a, there's a, go forward, forward to the post box. Maybe you can, um, do the thing. Surprisingly, the auto post box has no graffiti on it. Maybe people around here are finally starting to respect our government and its fine agencies. Inventory. Credit card application. Use. Well, that's not going to work. Why? Why not? Well, that's not going to work. Why not? Oh, now you're making me mad. Tax. Ooh, what's this over here? Is that something on the ground that I need to read? Well, this is a section of the Bay City Mirror. It's a weekly newsletter that covers local goings-on written by mutants for mutants. I'd subscribe if they had a comics page. Wow, you're a man of deep intellect. Um, this is... Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh god. Okay. Can I go into the pizza bar? Looks like it's closed. Francesca Lucido makes the spiciest pizza in the city. Oh. The only thing spicier than her cooking is her imagination. Oh. Right now, she seems to have a thing for me. Oh, is she a hot little number two? Francesca Lucido. Yeah, yeah. Can I go over here or please stay clear? Okay. Can 
Can I go in Louis here? Louis Laments runs the brew and stew, which is a local hangout. Cool, let's go in. This is so disorienting, oh my god. The brew and stew is run by Louis Laments, a bloated mutant with a heart bigger than his waistline. Everyone comes to Louis's cafe, so does all the street talk. If something's going on, Louis knows about it. What can I do for you, Mife? M Mife? Well, for starters, you could give me a job. I've forgotten what a paycheck looks like. I hear you, Mife. Last week, I had to lay off half my kitchen help. Times are pretty tough, but it could be worse. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah? Speak for yourself. I've had less work than a 300-pound belly dancer. Actually, Mife, I once knew a 300-pound belly dancer who was in great demand. <laughs> she had real pretty eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but now that you mention finding some work, have you talked to Rook today? He might have a job for you. Who? Someone broke into his shop last night. The cops ought to leave the donut shops for a while and look into that burglary. Ah, if only it was a perfect wild. But the cops couldn't care less what happens in this neighborhood. It. I wonder, in this, the way that they've done this, is because it looks like his video is paused like whenever one person is talking the other person is not active um it's i wonder how they did that rooks and on real cuss but me and him are old buddies we fought in the big war together huh? he's one person you can trust in these troubled times he's having trouble talking with that for those freaking teeth in your mouth, man. Holy shit. Uh, we're going to end this conversation. Thank you, though. Francesca Lucido makes the spiciest pizza in the city. Okay. The only thing spicier than her... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's go and see if we can uh, go talk to Francesca. Why not? My spicy girl. Oops. Well, well, it's that a handsome P.I. Tex Murphy. <laughs> Have you come to take me away? <laughs> no, thanks. How'd you guess? You must have seen my white horse hitched to the railing out front. <laughs> oh my, Mr. Murphy, you certainly know how to excite a girl. Uh, shatter the fantasy of a lonely woman? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to shatter the fantasy of a lonely woman, Jesus. Well, that's very nice of you to say, Mrs. Lucido, but I'm here on business. Ooh, all, all business and no pleasure makes even a private dick a dull boy. What do you want? Uh, I don't even know who these people are. You're Francesca. What about Sal? It must be. Who's, who's Sal? Me and Sal got married too young, and it's been up and down ever since. I've had enough of his drinking and the womanizing, and I divorce him in a second. But he's got a couple of buddies who are top lawyers. If I had some hard evidence of his screwing around, I could divorce him and get a decent settlement. Okay. What am I supposed to be, like, uh, investigating right now? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> like, okay. Um, what about Rook Garner? Rook is a tough old geezer. I've known him ever since we opened the slice of heaven back in the 32. But I can't say I know him very well. Okay. What about all Louis Lamnitz? I like a Louis. He runs a nicer place, and I go over there and chat with him when the business is slow. She sounds 
like a mix between a Russian and an Italian. So, so weird. <laughs> it's very strange. Ardo is an overgrown kid. He comes in here for the all you can eat the buffet, and I've got to kick him out every time. If I didn't, he'd eat everything we got. Okay. Can't help you, Tex. You don't know the colonel? Am I getting points every time? That's that religion for norms only. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. Okay. Chelsea is a nicer girl. Sal tries to flirt with her, but she doesn't give him the time of day. I'm cold, but I'm also not at the same time. It's very confusing. Uh, actually, let me. All right, well, I'm ending this conversation with you, madam. What's this? So is this where I live? On the top floor of this place is where I hang my hat. It's not much, but it's better than... Well, it's not much. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to know where my gun went, but okay. My car is pretty cool. There's the Golden Gate Hotel and this cinema place. Do they play dirty movies? The Bijou Theater used to be quite a night spot. It was condemned years ago and could collapse any day. There's no way I'm going in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Acme Warehouse? Yeah, looks like someone's locked the door. Oh. Yeah, looks like someone's locked the door. There's really not much else I can do. The Golden Gate Hotel was once known as the Waldorf of the Pacific. Its halls are still sturdy, and the walls have worn well. But there's nobody living inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Singing is hilarious. Okay. I heard this newspaper box got destroyed right after Chelsea opened her newsstand. Coincidence? So Chelsea's a little bit cuckoo, cuckoo. What's a back? What's a back here? Coit Tower was once a majestic landmark. The wiener stand on the patio at the base of Coit Tower made the best chili dog in town. Is it? No one's here right now, though, so I better check back later. Okay. Wait, is that a body? What is that? All hell is broken loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this over here? Strip club. Rusty's fun masks. That looks terrifying. Hmm, it's all locked up. The only way I'm going to get inside is by using my innate cleverness or ingenuity, or maybe a key. Well, we don't have that. So, we can't, we've, we can't get in there. We need to figure out a way for us to get a new fax machine. Can I get in my car? My trusty 31 lightning bolt speeder. I still regret not getting the sunroof option. Coit Tower, Chandler Avenue. Slice of Heaven. Oh, okay. So it's like, okay. Texas office, cancel. So if I want to like fast travel, fast travel, right. Um, okay. Chelsea, stop staring at me, you big creep. Can I go in here? Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. Okay, can I go in there? Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. He's a crusty old World War III vet with a face like a raisin and a tongue like a butcher's cleaver. What do you want, Miffy? 
Caustic wit. Looks like someone didn't get enough fiber in his breakfast this morning. Shut up, Murphy. The last thing I need right now is a yappy mouth wise guy. <laughs> Shut up, Murphy. Sarcastic. You know, I'll bet you haven't had enough coffee today either. Look, Murphy, I've had a bad enough morning without you doing your comic routines. All right. Last night, someone broke into my pawn shop. I don't usually have anything of great value, but yesterday, I gave out a fair amount of cash for an extremely valuable diamond bracelet. Investigative? How much is a fair amount of cash? In this case, $8,000. Holy shit. Uh, A. Boy, that's a lot of clams, Rook. Don't you think I know that? The bracelet was pawned by a young girl named Emma Nimpton. She said she hated to hawk a family heirloom, but had no choice. She said she would reclaim the bracelet in a month. Well, since the bracelet was worth ten times eight thousand I loaned her, it was a good deal for me. Okay. Investigative vibes? What was your impression of the girl? She seemed real nice. I don't know what I'm going to tell her. I called her this morning, but a line is disconnected. Okay. Let's see. Sounds like my vast experience as a PI could come in handy. Uh-huh. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. The police are no help. A mutant is on his own when he gets robbed in this town. I'd appreciate your help. I'm not a rich man, but if you find the bracelet, I'll owe you a few favors, which could come in handy. Come back here and I'll show you where they broke in. Rook takes me out back and shows me where the burglar broke in. The back window is busted out and the latch is ripped. Mm -hmm. It's a sloppy job. As I start my investigation, I'm looking for information to enter into my crime link computer back at the office. Okay. One thing's for sure, Emma Nimpton won't be one of the suspect's names. Every P.I. worth his salt knows that's not my name spelled backwards. <laughs> I had to think about that one. Okay. Well, that's the sturdy, worm-eaten back door to Rook's Pawn Shop. All right, let's see what uh, interesting thing. What's this? What's this? Piece of fabric on the floor? Like a shoe print is outlined in that sticky pool of something resembling chocolate. Footprints about a size 14. Size 14? Remember that? I need a piece of paper. I'm not going to remember any of this. Size 14. Size 14. Okay, size 14. All right, what, are we, what else we got? Drink? Hmm. An empty bottle of Evanescent Spring Water. Evanescence? For those with a higher class of thirst. Oh, somebody high class, perhaps? Well, obviously, the window was broken from the outside. Okay. Um, anything else? What's this on the ground here? The baby rum wrapper looks like it was left recently. Yep, still warm. A baby what? The empty bottles of chocolate syrup lying all around this alley all look like they've been licked clean. Chocolate syrup, eh? Okay. So somebody likes has a bit of a sweet tooth then, eh? Hmm. An empty bottle of evanescent spring water. So evanescent spring water, meaning like kind of high classy. Okay, 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 all right. And... What's this over here? Whatever's on the other end of this power box must be out of commission. The gauge is as dead as my love life. Ah. He doesn't understand. He's small. These are empty jumbo-sized cans of Camel's Chunky Chocolate Soup. Mmm, -hmm, good. Chocolate soup? Mamma mia. Okay. The empty bottles of chocolate syrup lying all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So chocolate soup or syrup? I wonder what all these garbage cans are doing around here. Maybe Rook is running a low-rent hostel. <laughs> Whoever uses these garbage cans is either a terrible shot or is saving them for that special piece of trash. Uh, what? 
fuck are you talking about? What about this one that's knocked over? Like Rook always says, you can cut corners here and there, but there's nothing like a quality garbage can. Okay, so he likes garbage cans? Is that what you're saying? Um, so we looked at the chocolate syrup. And the... Oh, what's this? Kill mutants? Oh, man! This dumpster smells like 20-year-old mayonnaise, and I ought to know. <laughs> Whoa! This antique boombox worked. I bet it'd only play the Bee Gees. Antique boombox playing the Bee Gees. Oh, I can... Oh, can I open it? Well, I'll be darned. Except for the filth and stench, the interior isn't much different than the average studio apartment. In fact, it's nicely furnished. Someone's been living here, and I wonder if he saw anything. Oh, okay. What's this? Can I use this radio? Maybe I can pawn the radio. Alright. More chocolate syrup bottles. Hmm. An empty bottle of evanescence. The empty bottles of chocolate syrup lying all around this alley all look like they've been licked clean. Okay. Wait. This rookety wooden fence keeps Rook's pawn shop and the slice of heaven pizza parlor from collapsing into each other. I can move it? Okay. Shit. So not used to this. Can I go through this little. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! No, 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 go back, go back, go back! Ew, was that like a river of shit that was going... Okay, whatever. Um... What is that? What? Oh shit, oh shit! Oh my god, it's so hard to control! Ah! What is this? Well, that steep staircase looks really hard to climb. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! Can I... Oh, oh no, 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 go back up. Go, oh shit! <laughs> Seriously, cannot see. What is this? This chain link fence doesn't seem to do much, except separate Rook's ugly half of the alley from Franny's ugly half of the alley. Okay. So I just went up the stairs and it did fuck all? Hey, this door's just painted on. Oh, damn it. Hey. This door's just painted on. Okay. What's this up here? Another billboard advertising cosmetic surgery. It's big business these days. Mutants with money will pay anything to look like norms. Okay. Um. Okay, let's get off of this little thing here. Is there anything else I can, like, move around, open... Let's go in this corner. Is there anything? What's this? Wow. A recyclable paper wow. can. Wow. Finally. A glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. Wow. Wow. A recyclable paper. Okay, let's, like, go over there. Can I look inside? Ah! Ah! What's that? Oh. Wow. A wow. recyclable Wow, a recyclable paper. Okay, maybe I need to be closer. Wow, a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. Um, wow. Okay, shut up. 
Okay, clearly that meant nothing. Anything? Okay, so I see. What's this? These disgusting piles of trash remind me of Aunt Betty's annual yard sales. Okay. More of that chocolate soup and syrup. That's just weird. What's this? This is where graffiti novices come to practice. After honing their skills, they move on to places where people actually care if you spray paint their walls. <laughs> Sounds like my neighborhood. Uh... So, we've only really... Shit, 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 shit. We've only... These disgusting... Gotten... Reminds me of playing hoops when I was younger, in the days before my lower vertebrae turned into petrified rock. Kill you on that. So, we, all we really know is that the size... The person likes chocolate, like, a lot. They drink expensive water, and... They wear a size 14 shoe. Oh. Like Rook always says, you can cut corners here and there, but there's nothing like a quality garbage can. I can move this. Oh, there's a key! Oh! A key! Hmm. Looks like a key of some kind. Will that key open the the, the 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 thing? Okay, hold on, hold on. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh my god, this is so fucking hard to move. Which uh, store was it that I needed the key for? Ah, 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 Rusty's. Hmm, it's all locked up. The only way I'm gonna get inside is by using my innate cleverness or ingenuity, or maybe a key. I have a key! Can we use? Well, that's not gonna work. Why not? Well, that's not, well, that's not gonna work. Okay, maybe I need to ask the guy about it? Uh... Fuck is he again? Wait. Rook Garner runs this. Okay, let's go in. Go in. So, Murphy, have you come up with anything yet? All business. I've got some clues, but I need some more information from you. Ask about... Can I not ask about a... It makes me mad as hell that someone will break into the shop. I have a hard enough time making ends meet. Uh... Oh, shit. What? Well, that's the sturdy, wormy... What else can I help you with, Murphy? Oh my god. So... Maybe it's Sal? Sal's a brute. Funny as hell, but it can get pretty bad after a couple of drinks. He and his wife, Franny, have a real love-hate thing. Makes me glad I never tied the knot. Sal leaves running the pizza joint up to Franny. Okay. What about, uh... It was a beauty! Ah, encrusted oh, with yeah, diamonds and rubies and inlaid with gold. Okay. It's the bracelet that we're looking for, right? And... Who else could be... Strikes me as a village idiot. He came by one time to see if I had any Inspector Burns action figures. Hey, Samurai, welcome. I I Sorry, I'm not paying attention to you guys so much. I'm, like, really into this. Because <laughs> you, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Um, it's funny, because SoCal and I were talking about this last night in Discord. Uh, how much I fucking loved Contradiction. And, like, how you have to pay attention to all of these things, which is sometimes very difficult for me. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of reminding me of that because like there's these little like nuggets of things that you need to pay attention to. Um, but yeah, 
if you can i also ask if you do know the answers to anything please don't give it to me i want to figure it out thank you um so where so we have a key We have a key from the alley, which I thought would be able to open that place that I needed a key for. But what would the key... I don't know. Let's fucking try it. I have no reason. This is the brand new electronic... I won't be able to get inside the electronic shop until I get a membership card. Is that where that... this goes? This is the brand new... I won't be... Okay. What would that key be for if it's not for... Hold on. Um, in the inventory... So maybe the key is just... Well, that's not gonna work. Pourquoi? I know, it's, it's just... She's just staring at me! It's freaking scary! Well... Will any of these people, um... Surprisingly, the auto po- Shut up. Okay, maybe I need to go-, go Well, that's not gonna be enough information. Size 14 shoe and, and likes chocolate? That's- and there's a key? Maybe the key is- can I go in here? The Golden Gate Hotel was once known as the- Maybe the key is to a, uh, a room in the hotel? Oh, wait. Hold on one second. I didn't examine the key. Does the key have... Anything? It says good... Good something on it? Wait a second. What was this? What was the name of this pizza bar? The Brew and Stew. What was the name of the pizza bar? Okay, let's go into this Golden Gate Bridge. A uh, Golden Golden Gate Hotel. Ardo Newpop is a gigantic goon who works at the front desk at the Golden Gate Motel. Ardo's no rocket scientist. In fact, he probably doesn't even know what a rocket scientist is. <laughs> Boob tube hobnobbing? Standard detective introduction. Sure. My name's Tex, and I'm a PI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay. I think I've already seen this show before anyway. What? Rude personal opinion. I always thought that Captain Wallaby was a pedophile. Oh my- You mean he likes to ride bikes? I have a bike. <laughs> what the fuck? You mean he likes to ride bikes? <laughs> Harsh retort. No, it doesn't mean he likes to ride bikes, you idiot. Just because you don't like to ride bikes, you don't have to be mean to me. Make like a tree and get lost. Oh, shit. <laughs> I ended up being a dick and then I could- Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back in. Can I go back in? The Golden Gate- I heard that Ardo shuts the place down every once in a while to do fire safety upgrades. Maybe he's painting fire extinguishers in all the rooms. Damn it. Why am I such a, such a meanie? Uh, is there a, oh. is there a door here? No, okay. Die mute. Coit Tower was once a majestic. Yeah, whatever. I heard this newspaper box. Uh, does anybody remember it, if, the girl that the newsstand girl is a mutant. Did he said he said I think he said that.
The Acne Warehouse is the former Snow White Dry Cleaning Building. Nobody's used this place in a while. Yeah, looks like someone's locked the door. Okay. Uh, he doesn't want to go in there because it may collapse. Um. She is a mutant. Okay, thank you. But it doesn't show. Okay. Hmm. So, can I... I just want to see what happens when I go over here. Am I not allowed to at all? No, not at all. Oh, look at look at this. Whop. 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 It does like this weird... Boom 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 Okay look uh Louis I wanna go in here again and talk Uh what can I get you? What uh what can I ask about? Rook's been robbed before. Oh but he's never had anything really valuable taken. Uh-huh. This is gonna set Rook back for a while. Too bad the cops have turned a blind eye. Okay. Do you know anything about that bracelet? Rook told me about the bracelet. But I don't know anything more about it. Okay. What do you know about the crusade? Ever since the crusade started up, the relations between norms and mutants has gone to pot. I've had rocks thrown through my windows, graffiti sprayed on the bricks outside. There's not much I can do, though. I love how coffee is 55 cents. Damn. Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. What about that Ardo new pop, huh? Ardo comes in now and again. Usually orders a couple of steaks and a chocolate milk. Chocolate? His temp is as short as he is tall. And he's only got one ore in the water. The bad combination. Ardo orders a chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Granny the Fireball. She and Sal opened the pizza place seven to eight years ago. And they've been fighting ever since. Okay. What about Sal's a big guy with an appetite for food, wine, and women. Uh huh. He comes by here most every day for lunch. Does he eat chocolate by any chance? The fact that he has a size 14, this person has a size 14 shoe, uh, has a bad temper. Maybe I need to go ask Rook again about Ardo and if, what kind of relationship they have. Yeah, things are a little slow, but I'm getting by. Okay, so who's... Having to lay off some of my kitchen help hurt my pride more than anything. Bruins do. Rook is the pawn guy. Ardo is the hotel guy. Um, and then there's Sal and Francesca, pizza people, who's cheating on his wife. Chelsea is the mutant news person. Right? That's one, two, three, four, five. I don't know who the colonel is. Oh, wait. Colonel is like my dude that I just met. And Crusade is like a weird uh, culty thingy. That's what I'll do. Rook, tell me more about this Ardo guy. He, I probably have already asked him, but... Um, oh, sorry. Not, not here. Here. Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. What now, Murphy? 
ask about Ardo. Strikes me as a village idiot. Uh -huh. He came by one time to see if I had any Inspector Burns action figures. I told him I'd never heard of these Burns characters and thought the kid was gonna tear my damn head off. Really? Okay, so he's got a bit of a temper, eh? So if I look up Ardo, and if he has a size 14 foot, is that going to look really bad? Maybe Sal or Ardo, both of them, you know. Um, what did he say Sal's about- Sal's a brute. Funny as hell, but he can get pretty bad after a couple of drinks. He and his wife Franny have a real love-hate thing. Makes me glad I never tied the knot. Sal leaves running the pizza joint up to Franny. Uh, okay. I'm trying so hard not to, like, fuck this up. You have no idea how hard this is, like, it, with an incredibly sensitive mouse that I have. On the top floor of the- Oh, bollocks. Alright. Crime link computer. Uh, <laughs> Mark says the mouse had a ball in it back then. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So Caucasian male. We don't know how tall he is. Um, let's say. Between 241, no. Next. Shit, what did he look like? He had brown hair. He had two eyes. He had blue eye. I don't know. Oh, is there not shoe size? Is it 15? 14. I don't know what his eye color was. I don't know what this is. How do I search? I need help. Wow, look at this. God damn. Can I... Mouse sensitivity low. Walking speed fast. Hints on. Captioning on. Um... Sorry. How do I use the Crime Clink computer? Look at the computer, turn it on, enter the information on who robbed the pawn shop. But how do I do that? See directory. Oh my god, it costs me points every time I use this. Shit. Getting a new fax machine. Okay. Finding out who robbed it. Getting into Rusty's. Getting the bum in the alley to show up. 
Oh, maybe the bum in the alley is the one that likes the chocolate milk. Chocolate whatever. Crimelink computer is the only valuable... Shut up. Okay, let's say I don't know how tall. I don't know how... We know that's a male. Next. At least two eyes. Size 14 shoe. But how do I look at the matches? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, SoCal says it will likely only work with less matches. Okay. What the? F Wait, you know what? I didn't interact with this, did I? My phonographs. And Thank you for that. That was great. Thank you. I'm going to cheat again. I don't know how to use it. Click the appropriate trait in each category. But I don't know enough. Get the credit card... Okay, examine it. I did. Oh, so there's all of these steps in between that I have not. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just. What's this? Okay, can we? pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Uh-huh. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. How do I do that? Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not gonna work. Shit. I can't, like, sit down and sign. I don't understand how I'm supposed to do that. Uh... Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Okay, no. Tell me how. Yes, sure. Which one? Oh, like I literally have to stand here then? And this here is my favorite desk drawer. Okay. Wow, all right. So I have to really pay attention to the little details then. As usual, it's a mess. Most of these desk drawers haven't been used for so long, I'm afraid to open them. As usual, it's a mess. Okay, I, I'm not able to see. My old reliable faux oak desk. This here is my. As usual, it's a mess. Do I need to get closer? Oh my fucking god, okay. Uh, 
Ah! Oh, okay. Shit! <laughs> Is there a pen in there? Is there another one on the side? Oh, yes, there is. Most of these desk drawers haven't been. As usual, it's a mess. Oh, fuck, really? How am I supposed to? I see things. Uh, okay. Maybe I need to open these ones. As usual, it's a mess. Oh my god. As usual, it's a mess. Nothing in here but a pen. Oh, a pen? I need a pen! Can I get it? Ah, oh, nice! Okay, it's triggering. That's good. Hold on. Maybe I need to get a little bit closer. Come on. Come on. Nothing in here but a pen. Well, that's not gonna work. No, I need to get, get, get! This is probably the only writing you- Yes! Nice! Awesome! Okay, great. So, we need to take the combine uh, pin with this. And then there needs to be, it needs to be stamped as well, right? Now all this baby needs is a stamp. Like a, like a postage stamp? Do you think that Chelsea would have postage stamps? Or maybe I'd have them in the, in the desk drawer? I don't know. Uh, okay. So, huh. Fuck, this is tedious, man. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Nothing in here but a stamp. Yay! <laughs> okay, where is it? Where is it? Do I have to move closer? Fuck, beans. Maybe I need to go on the other side. I'm so tense right now. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Okay, maybe over here. Nothing in here but a stamp. No! Shit! Fuck. My old reliable. No. Nothing in here but a stamp. Yeah, but I need you to open it so I could get the stamp. How the fuck am I supposed to? Oh my god, this is so frustrating. <laughs> can I? Ah, yeah, there we go. Really? Oh my god. Nothing in here but a stamp. Do I have to go on the other side? Because I'm getting annoyed now. Okay, let's go on the other side. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Burp. Beep. Oh my god. 
Okay, okay, slowly, slowly, slowly! Go back, go back. Okay, just slowly, slowly. Slowly. There we go. How come it's not triggering? Like, how... Oh, there it is. I see it, I see it. Just the, the tip. Just the tip. Holy mother. One last $10 stamp waits patiently to be licked and mailed. $10 stamp? Beauty. Okay. Love that. Took me only five fucking minutes to figure out how that worked. <laughs> so, we go to combine and we do this. Now it becomes a filled out. Got it. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Close. Exit. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't, I don't know how to change this uh, perspective now. Look at how everything warps when you look at it. It's so funny. I can't, I can't figure out how to, like, not look down anymore. <laughs> Shit! That's okay, whatever. Um, That's the door. Oh my god. Oh my god! And I have the mouse sensitivity on low! Okay, go, 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 go. Oh my god. Okay. Surprisingly, the auto... The postal service has gotten much faster since the stamp price went to $10. I should get my credit card back tomorrow morning. Oh, wow. $10. Okay. So... Wonderful. Uh... Okay, I need another hint. Getting the bum to show up. Oh, um... Can we... Is there a convenience store or something? We can buy some chocolate for him? I don't know. What does Chelsea have to say about... What's his name? Chelsea's a hot... She's a hot little number. Hi, Tex. How's the investigation going? Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. What do you know about that burglary? Yeah, you know, I remember Rook told me about the burglary. You know, I remember a stranger hanging around the past couple of days. It might be a dead end, but I seem to remember that the guy had these bright green eyes. Green eyes! And a tattoo of an anchor on his arm. Green eyes and a tattoo! Anchor! On his arm! That really helps, Chelsea. Thank you so much. Do you know anything about this bracelet? Wish I could help you there, Tex. All right, what about uh, Ardo? Luckily, Ardo seems to like me. I mean, if I were on his bad side, I'd be tempted to relocate. He could crush a Subaru with one hand. Subaru with one hand, my God. Okay, uh, what do you think about Sal? Sal's a handful. I mean, he's a nice guy, but I don't know, I feel kind of naked when he gives me the eye. Oh, he undresses you with his eyes, huh? Franny's a live wire. Either she or Sal is going to do time for killing the other one. I have never seen a couple fight like they do. Yeah, the Italian, leave him alone. Uh, what about Rook, huh? Rook acts like a tough guy, but he's a softy. Just don't tell him that to his face. Uh-huh. All right. What do you know about the crusade, huh? The crusade is big. I mean, much bigger than most people know. They have operatives all over. And then these huge sections of the norm population are joining. Well, they say it's a religion, but then they encourage the members to be violent and prejudiced towards others. Oh, so they're basically QAnon. Okay, great. Uh, so, what about Colonel? Well, sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. And uh, what about Louis? I love Louis, but his friendliness doesn't fool me. He's a sharp one. He knows everything that's going on in this neighborhood. I kind of love this game, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Tick-tock.
tickles my brain. Um, ouch. So we've asked her all those questions. Great. Thank you, Chelsea, you hot little number. Um, so let's go back to up and type that in and see if that does anything. I don't know. Oh, here we go, guys. Sorry. I know it's going to be difficult for you to... Oh, fuck me. Okay. Jesus. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On the top floor of this... Am I also a dance instructor, or...? All right, let's do it. Crime Lincoln. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we don't know is the person's race, but she said it was a guy. Tall guy, but didn't say how tall. We don't know if a mutant or not. So... I don't know if this is going to be enough information, but green, size 14, with an anchor on his arm. Did I miss anything? Anchor on his arm, green eyes, size 14 shoe. Presumably two eyes. Mm, no, nothing is happening. That's going to drive me crazy. Still, I don't see how that's supposed to work. Okay. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum. bum. Okay, what? I did not see. Red, green, two, 14. Anchor on the arm. It still doesn't let me. Is it broke? I think I might have missed something. One second. You know, I'm going to go back to the crime scene because uh, now that I know that you can move the camera down, I should be able to find more things. That's what the Googles is telling me. Fuck, I have to pay attention to everything. And that's like something I'm not very good at. <laughs> that's the door. Yeah, I know. Puppy pods. <laughs> Have you ever heard anybody using puppy pods? Puppy pods. Puppy pods. Oh, Jesus. Come on, go down. There we go. 
Oh man, that is really hard on the eyes. Okay, I'm literally not even moving. I'm not even moving the mouse at all. It's just moving by itself. Can we change this so it's just, if it's... It's with WASD. Because some bullshit. Wait, what's that? The texture of the pavement surface is a cross between a spilled coke and sandstone. Yeah, there's a shard of glass on the floor. Shard of glass must have come from that broken window. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Okay, now I can get that, and then I look at it. Looks like whoever broke into Rook's window left one of his hairs behind. He's a redhead! Apparently our burglar is a carrot top. Love that. Okay, let's... Uh, anything else? Maybe some blood, or... Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus! Oh, it keeps going like fucking hog wild. Okay. Whew. Makes me feel sick after a while. Uh, maybe I need to ask her? Did she see Chelsea. somebody with... Uh... Well, that's not gonna work. What can I... Ask about uh, burglary? Yeah, you know, I remember Rook told me about the bur... All right, so she's not going to offer anything more about that. So should we end the conversation? And then maybe I can ask Rook about any redheaded people. Is that an option? Rook Garner runs. Judas Murphy, can't you find something else to do besides bothering me? It makes me mad as hell that someone will break into the shop. Um, ask about... It's not giving me the option to ask more things. Can I ask him about this stuff, or no? What's text? What does that mean? Travel? Oh, oh no. Sorry, sorry. Cancel. Just kidding, just kidding. God, this is so hard. <laughs> this is hard! Do you think uh, Golden Gate Man will let me in now? The Golden Gate... I heard that Ardo shut... So we know that it's a redhead with green eyes, an anchor on his arm. Oh, okay. So maybe it won't actually give me a suspect until I find out everything, every like little piece. So I have to keep going into the... It would be so much easier if I could, like, pull it up out of my inventory. If I had, like, a um, portable... On the top floor. A crime link computer. Oops, sorry. You know what I mean? So if we do crime this... Crime Yeah, yeah. So we know that it's a male. We don't know his height. Next, but I'm just gonna keep that. Red, two, green, size 14. Anchor on the arm. So...
Okay. Hold on one second. I think I've missed a step here. What? Okay. I guess I have to really pay attention. I'm supposed to examine this? This old relic probably hasn't worked in years. Hey, there are batteries in here. What? Hey, Tiger Sack. Um. All right, Elder, have a good one. not see that as an option, but... Okay, I give up. Tell me what I need to do, because... I did. I literally put everything in that I was supposed to. Click the appropriate trait in each category. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, okay, well, we're, we don't know what we need to do for that yet because it needs to be tomorrow. Oh, shit. I pressed wrong. It says that I'm supposed to go to the police station. Well, as you can see, that's not an option on the travel thing, so. Are you kidding me? This is exactly like Phantasmagoria. Like, things that you would not think that you're supposed to do. I have to retrace all my steps. <sighs> Stressed. That's the door to the st I'm stressed. So stressed. Let's just go down backwards. Fuck it. So there's apparently a doormat that you need to move. It's like a welcome mat, but when it's on the doorstep of a novelty shop, you can never be too careful. Well, let's move it. Ah, a key! Whoa, a key. So, another key. Okay, that's a fucking crazy looking key. Rusty the Clown's Novelty Shop. Closed down a few months ago after Rusty mysteriously disappeared. Uh-huh. The police suspect foul play, but I think he probably just choked to death on his own bad jokes. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, content warning for people that don't like clowns. This wig probably sells well during the Bay Area Yodeling Festival. Sorry? Is there any redhead ones? Like this, maybe this one? Why, it's Mr. Sloppy Lasagna Eater. Oh, good. Looks like my fourth grade teacher. This one legit looks like a Slipknot mask. Well, this must be Mr. Grimm. He's a reaper. Oh, this is a scary mask. I'll bet this is a real popular mask. Mask. Wow, the limited edition Daryl Hannah wig and mannequin set. What? Okay. What about that one on the ground? 
Whoa! For a second there, I thought someone had decapitated Inspector Burns and left his head on the floor. What a great mask. Okay. What is that circle thing? Well, I have no idea what I'd ever do with a stacking ring, but what the heck. A stacking ring? Okay. Stop moving! Oh my god. Okay. I can't get out of this uh, perspective. I don't know how to do it. And I am literally standing still. I'm not moving the mouse at all. See? <laughs> And it's still not letting me. Whoa, this wig would even make someone like me look glamorous. Okay. This wig must be quite popular with shy people. A mask of the king? That's blasphemy! The fuck? This wig probably sells well during the... Oh, okay. It's like a... Whatever. Um... I can't get out of this perspective. It's very annoying. If I can unlock this door, I may be able to go where only clowns have gone before. Hmm. Locked. Can I use the key that I have? Oh, shit. Uh, key from Alley? Well, that's not gonna work. No? Okay. Uh, that's all I got. I don't know. Oh, mama. Oh, ma what's in this box? Just a couple of empty old packing boxes. Hm. I can't move them. Hey, what's that? Cool. A plastic dark crossbow. It'll make a nice addition to my non-violent weapon collection. Well, I'll take it. Apparently, Rusty was very fond of empty cardboard boxes. Move. Oh. It's a Rusty Clown life-size doll. Wow. It's a dead ringer for... Oh, no pun intended. Why would I need that? That's terrifying. Wow, okay. So I have to be... Is that... Like, Mike Tyson? Oh god, oh god, I'm losing control, losing control! These weapons are all made of plastic. All bark and no bite. They're completely useless. Can I maybe zoom out? And this is like a door? I feel like this like, looks like it could be a door. These weapons are... I hate how they keep looking at me. That's so creepy. Stay still! Stay still! Look at this. I'm not moving at all. It's just moving by itself. <laughs> oh my god, that's so frustrating. Wow. Uh, is there a way that I can look up? Oh, there we go. So that's F. That's Q.
That's like too far up though. Oh man, that's very, very disorienting. Sorry if that's making anybody sick that's trying to watch this, but it's really not me, I promise you. That door leads. Oh. <laughs> What's this on the ground? Okay, there's got to be a way that I can configure this to not be mouse. Tilt control, normal, up, down, cursor keys. Oh. Okay, so I just need to use the up and down, not WASD. Got it. So let me try that again. Um, let's go back in here. I feel like... Rusty the Clown. <laughs> What's this over here? Looks like some kind of in-house television. Can I turn it on? Hi, kids. It's me, Inspector Burns. And as we all know, fire can be our friend, but fire can be our foe. So many times, fires start so carelessly. And what can fires do? Fires burn you. Never, never light matches. No, no, no. Fire is dangerous. Fire made me look like this. Do you want to look like me? No, no, no. Don't look like Inspector Burns. Don't play with matches. Uh, Inspector Burns. I always thought he was a freak, but the kids love him. So does Ardo. Ardo likes that. Maybe I can, like, say, hey, here's this mask if you want it. Give me some information, you fucking jerk. Rusty, the clown from hell. No wonder this place went under. Probably scared off all this business. Yeah, no shit. Okay, what else can we look at here? What's this? These weapons are all made. Okay, so we can't pick up anything. Gags, jokes. These weapons. Yeah. Is there. What's this thing in the corner? What's that? Hmm. Maybe this key fits in that employee's only door. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah! Yeah, buddy! If I can unlock this door, I may be able to go where only clowns have gone before. Aha! Uh -huh. Rusty says, clean up the mess. <laughs> Sounds like Rusty ran a pretty tight ship. Mm-hmm, maybe he pissed off somebody, huh? Enlargement. Posters in here tell you more than you'd ever care to know about film processing. What's this? A plastic suction dart can be formidable ammo in the hands of an expert like myself. Give me that. I need it. And then we're going to combine it with this. So now I have a loaded dart crossbow. Love that. What? Why in the world would Rusty keep a barrel of toxic acid? I know why. Because there's a body in it. <laughs> oh, lordy. Well, this is where Rusty ended up. What a way to go. And I'm willing to bet he didn't crawl in here on his own. Someone murdered him. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, lordy. Someone murdered him! Posters in here tell you more than you'd ever care to know about film processing. Okay, it's a little bit scary that I knew that that was the reason why there was acid in the... I'm like, there's a body in it, obviously. 
way too many true, true crime shows. That's funny. Okay. Posters in here, tell you. I'm very intrigued. I want to know. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Anything else? Anything in the sink that we need to look at? What's that? Oh, what's that? A balloon strategically located near the water faucet. Looks like Rusty didn't go down without a fight. Evidence. Okay. What's this in the corner here? The sink must have been used for developing photos. Not much use for it now since all the developing equipment's gone. Anything else that I need to look at? Wait. Can I... Hold on. Can I move his body? No, I can't do anything else with the thing. Okay. So somebody killed Rusty. Wait, what is that in the middle of his mouth there? Ooh, a small nozzle. Probably a helium dispenser used for filling balloons. Are you sure about that? Or it's not a camera or something? He's like a big freak. I would love to own a place like this where people come in like... Like a magic shop. They buy magic stuff. Like magic tricks. That door leads out to the street. Is that weird? I don't know. What's that over there? What is this? Is this just the bottom of this pillar? What is this like? This is definitely a place where people get murdered in acid. Um, so Kel says, I want to see the true crime show where, where somebody was dissolved in a big barrel of acid. There, there are many of them, in fact. <laughs> That is terrifying, that laugh. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to, um, what's his name? Rook, and see what he has to say about this. Rook Garner runs this. Yeah. What else can I help you with, Murphy? I don't know anything about that. Oh yeah? So maybe uh, Chelsea does. Chelsea, my girl, what do you know about Chelsea's the... a hot little. She's a hot little number. What can I do for you, Tex? Oh, I remember Rusty. He had a kid show on TV when I was young. I hated the show. That clown makeup ooh, always scared me. Uh huh. That's all you have to say. Okay, let me ask everybody about this guy. Let's go ask Francesca. Maybe Sal is there now. Francesca Lucia. What can I get for you, handsome? How about a big plate of linguine with my own special sauce? Uh... Politely decline. Sounds delicious, but what I really need is some information. Ask about Rusty. He was a weirdo who opened up a shop just down the street. That would have been a couple of years ago. The business went under in a hurry and the clown just disappeared. Uh-huh. So we opened the shop two years ago. And it went under in a hurry and the clown just disappeared. Okay. That's all she knows. Thanks. Let's go ask, uh, who's this guy? Um, Louie. Let's go ask Louie. 
Well, this is a section of the base. Burglaries baffle police. Oh, fuck, I didn't even read this. The total of inner city pawn shop burglaries committed over the past three weeks now stands at nine. Zippy Cash, located at the corner of Jackson and Maple, was broken into three nights ago. Pawn shop owner Urban Roby did not report the crime until this morning, thinking it was simply a practical joke played by his friends. Um, of the nine, Zippy Cash was only the second not owned by a mutant. There's been some speculation that police are not actively investigating these crimes since most of the crimes are, are mutants. Victims are mutants. Mayor Lender, who is up for re-election this year and will need the mutant vote to retain his position, has publicly called the police on, uh, onto the carpet. Police Lieutenant Mac Malden, who is heading the investigation, denies that the police are dragging their feet. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, Lieutenant Malden is sure that the burglaries have all been committed by the same person. Oh. The M.O.s have been identical. A girl goes to a pawn shop, hawks a piece of jewelry for a large amount of cash, and then the shop is broken into the same night. <gasps> what was the name of that girl? The girl that did the- oh, shit. Okay. Um, so... Uh... I can't remember her name. Does anybody remember her name? Hey, Metzger's here. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Uh, the girl could have been involved in other burglaries. Look at me making notes. Lieutenant Mulden would not specify, but said that his team of detectives have some evidence and hope to have some leads, some solid leads, within the next few days. Okay. Body found in Bay. The body of Nathaniel Murray, 29, was discovered floating in the San Francisco Bay, spotted by the blah, 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 cause of death is suicide. Walt Graham, a personal injury lawyer, followed the ambulance to the cor coroner's. A report that a quarantine was initiated not long after. The reason for the quarantine has not been made public. Uh, shit. Um. Old Jim's Bait Shop. Yeehaw! Need cash? At the Organ Trail Kill Clinic, we pay up to $50 cash for any of your vital organs. We also pay market rate for arms, legs, and eyeballs. Are you a lefty who's short on rent? Bring in that right arm. Our friendly, qualified staff will be happy to sever that limb, and you'll walk out moments later with a few extra dollars in your pocket. Hurry in, and don't forget to ask about our frequent donor program. Must be on site to meet AMA requirements. I spelled requirements wrong. Ha! Huh. Requirements. Poets Corner. This week's poem was sent in by 15-year-old Bupo Wong. Haiku to a taco, soft shell taco mine. What meat art thou concealing? Who cares? It's tasty. Thanks, Bupo. It's great. Senator can Okay, is this at all? I feel like I need to read all of this just in case. Senator Martin Reese, Republican, New Mexico, who had a, who had called the press conference assumed assumedly. Is that a word? To announce his intentions to leave politics to join the PGA erupted into hysterics today. Witnesses report the senator to have shouted, Texas is too fucking big. Run for your lives before it eats us all. I'm assuming he said fucking. Senator Reese, long considered one of the most mentally sound figures on Capitol Hill, had to be restrained and was led away in a makeshift shift, uh, straitjacket. When questioned about Senator Reese rantings, Representative Lolana Elwich, De Democrat Texas, Democrat Texas, professed complete ignorance. Everyone knows Texas is big, but really, most people who witnessed the display admitted to being surprised at the senator's behavior, though not everyone. House Speaker Bob Broge, Depector, De De Depector, oh my God, Democrat Maine. Uh, out we whacked out piece of shit. Da da da. Okay, so that's not relevant. Um, what's this? Genetic discrimination, social disease, 
Loogie Trundle? Hey, I know that name. Where do we know that name from? Loogie Trundle. Where, we heard that name before and I made fun of it. Loogie Trundle. Loogie, Loogie, Loogie. Help. Chat, do you remember where we heard that name? So she's saying... Uh, he, I don't know. She's saying that the crusade must be stopped because they're basically Q. Um, what's going on in this game? A lot is going on in this game. It's very, very weird 90s FMV and I'm 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 very I'm, I'm very invested right now and I'm investigating a burglary and a murder at the same time and that's really all you need to know and I'm glad that you beat number the first mass effect that's great so now you can play two which will blow your fucking mind believe me uh okay the Crusade for Genetic Purity? Oh, Lord. He's a hate monger. His words, blah, blah, blah. Moon child. Uh, the jewel in the heavens. Okay, so they're like crazy eugenicists. Awesome. Great to hear. The Grateful Dead, in its third incarnation, have announced plans for a resurrection tour to begin next week in Sacramento, California, and end up in Lazarus, Pennsylvania. The tour is scheduled to run for three years, during which the band will play 1,093 shows. Uh, okay. That has nothing to do with what we... Officer Harris and Officer Adler... Angry protests were staged today outside the Fifth Creek St. Courthouse where two Norm police officers, incidentally members of the Crusade for Genetic Purity, the racists, were found not guilty um, of assault and battery on a private citizen. Emo Dooley, Emo Dooley, an unemployed homeless mutant, had brought a civil suit against her, saying they had randomly picked up a group of stragglers and beaten him senseless. Wow, does this not around the time when Rodney King happened? Like, this seems like there's some parallels here. What's happening? Except, I think there were more cops in that case, right? Um... Oh, no, that was in 91. Okay, so it was, it was some years before this came out. But anyway, uh, each trial has ended in acquittal. Okay, should we put these guys' names down? Because I feel like we're going to run into them again. Officer Harris and Officer Adler. Oops, Adler. The ACLU announced that it is planning an appeal. Okay, great. So, so nothing else on here that is of, except for the burglaries thing. That's interesting. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks for that. Let's go ask him Louis about- Louis Laments runs the yeah, Bruins yeah, yeah, yeah. stew. Which yeah, is... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go in here. Too bad you don't like fresh brains, mate. Hot off the grill. Oh, good lord of mercy. Can I ask you about... Who's Mac Malden? He was a strange one. He had a show on TV for a while. Got pretty popular. Then he quit the show and went into business. He opened up a shop right up the street from here. I guess he wasn't a very good businessman. The shop went out of business within a couple of months. Then Rusty just disappeared. He made enemies. Yes. I heard he'd made some enemies in the novelty trade. Uh, okay. What about uh, 
is one of the few norms besides you who's eaten here. Seems like a typical cough, a little dim, and not too concerned about what happens in the mutant sections of town. Okay. Thank you for that. So I'm going to end that conversation. And... Did I ask, uh... I can't even remember. I think I did ask her. Let's see if I'm able to travel to the police station now. Yes, now I can. Let's go. <laughs> Private dick. This game is from 1994. I haven't seen Mac Martin since the Martian Memorandum case. I remember him as a surly, incompetent, fat-nosed cop. As I step into his office, I can see he's changed. His nose is even bigger. Well, if it isn't Tex Murphy. I figured you'd be dead by now. Um... No, not yet. Actually, I'm working on a case. Sure you are. Probably a case of cheap scotch. Um, B. Tell you what. Help me solve this case I'm working on and I'll buy you scotch. And not the cheap stuff. Bribing a cop, babe, Murphy. Get out of here now and I might not bust you! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Let's go back to... No, we have to go back. Can't you find something better to do than bother me? Um, apologetic. I don't mean to bother you, but I'm still stuck on this case. Sure you are. Probably a case of cheap scotch. Um. I wish. I couldn't afford a glass of scotch these days. Well, here our custodial department is hired. Pick up an application on your way out. Really? You can't offer me any more than this? Hey, Lacuna, welcome. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, this was another thing that SoCal and I were talking about last night that, like, a lot of these older games are absolutely punishing. Like, if you say or do one bad thing it you it's over like they don't hold your hand at all it's like nope you're done you have to keep doing it until it's correct <laughs> so this is one of those um one of those situations can't you find something no because i really like to watch your face turn red still the wise guy eh, murphy it was great to see you now get lost oh come on Remember the Martian Memorandum case? Hey, we made a swell team. Yeah, those were the days. I don't get cases like that anymore. Things are harder now. The mayor's office is all over me again. You heard about the string of pawn shop robberies? We yeah, that's no true. no suspects, and I'm catching the heat for it. So you and your crack team of detectives have no leads? Of course we have leads, you pot. Oh, oh! We know he's a norm. Uh -huh. Caucasian. He's norm? And has AB negative blood. A norm? That narrows down our list of suspects Caucasian. to about a million. Now AB. get out of my hair. I got work to do. Okay. AB, Caucasian, norm, red head, green eyes, anchor on tattoo on his arm. Boom. Boom. Okay, let's go back to his office. Let's see if, if that makes a difference. Let's see if this actually works. I don't know if it's going to, but we know Caucasian, male, 
sure. He's not a mutant. Red, and it is a B, size 14 feet. Anchor on the arm. Missing head. I don't think I have enough information. Shit. Okay, well, we're almost there. Don't, don't. Don't, don't. Did he say AB negative? Oh, God. Okay. Well, I'm like I don't think that's going to make a difference anyways. I st we still need to have... Um... We still need if he has any distinguishing marks or he's missing limbs. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So we have everything else. Um, okay, let's see. I have no... Yeah. So, I need to... I don't know if this is actually true, but we know he's a Caucasian, we know he's male, we know he's not a mutant. We know he has red hair, two eyes, green, AB negative, he's size 14 feet, anchor on the arm, that's all we know so far. Quit. So, uh, let's get the fuck out of that. So we need to talk to that bum. That's the door to the... Um... Let's just walk backwards. It's easier. Oh my god. Let's go talk to uh, Louis. Louis laments. Sorry. Oops. Okay. What's on your mind? Oh, what what did I miss? Oh. Okay, I can't it's not going to trigger yet. My bad. Um bum 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 Look at Jesus! That was terrifying. Oh, looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. Yeah, what do you want? Bum camaraderie? Looks like you're busy drowning your troubles, my good man. Well, Mr. High and Mighty, what are you, a preacher or something? Uh, more bum camaraderie? No, I'm just a man like you, who's been down on his luck. Look at me, I I'm crying. Now what is it you want? He only has one eye! <laughs> um. Uh, let's see, how about world peace, a new speeder, and a decent haircut? Is that really so much to ask? Hey ninja, welcome. <laughs> You're quite a comedian. Why don't you take your act on the road? Fuck. Look at this. <laughs> oh, looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. Oh, no. Not you again. Look, I'll warn you right now. I'm almost out of chocolate syrup, and I'm not in a good mood. Oh. Uh... Be concerned. Look, I'll do you a favor. If you're free Thursday, I'll take you to the Chocoholics Anonymous meeting. Spare me the insults, tough guy. If you got something to say, spill it. Well, I was just doing a little amateur sleuthing. God, you are a pest! Oh, for fuck's sake! 
Oh. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get it fixed soon, I'll go insane! Dory me pops a lot to do. Uh, make an offer. I don't make a practice of helping out addicts, but I think I've got something that will ease the pain. Oh, hold out on me, man. If you've got something, let's have it. <laughs> uh, do I have anything to give him? Oh, uh, I actually don't have anything. I need to get some chocolate. Maybe the the newspaper chick will have chocolate. Our newsstands usually have chocolate. Chelsea's a hot little. She's a hot little number. What can I do for you, Tex? Ask about more. Oh, how do I go down? Chocolate! Yes! Wish I could help you there, Tex. Shit. Okay. What about uh the guy, the the other guy? Louis. Louis? Louis. Louis, I Louis need Louis run. Yeah, I know, I need chocolate. Uh what can I get you? Ask about chocolate. You want to try a slice of my chocolate pie? Yeah. I can get you a piece to go if you like. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Thanks. Thank you. Great. Then I'm going to give it to the bum and it's all good. So let's end that conversation. And... Bum, 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 Oh. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get a fix soon, I'll... Make an offer. I don't make a practice of help. Oh, hold out on me, man. Offer from inventory. Chocolate pie. Praise heaven! You brought the ambrosia of life. Ask me anything you want. Sweet! Thanks, guy. Ask about... Um... What should I ask about? The burglary? Well, I mean, it, it's pretty bad because what? He's a chocolate addict. He's bald. He's got red hair and one eye. Um, so this is. <laughs> um. Huh. Okay. I saw someone prowling around the back of the pawn shop last night. It was so dark. Six three? I didn't get a good look at him, but I could tell he was huge. You. Probably six three or six four, about three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds? Okay. All right. What do you know about Rusty? Wish I could help. No. Do you know Mac Malden? Nope. Don't know a thing about it. What about this bracelet? Sorry. Can't help you with that. What do you think about Crusade? I stay out of politics, especially bad politics. What do you think about Ardo Newpop? That big goon. He used to hassle me until I shared a quart of chocolate syrup with him. Now he lets me alone. Oh, so he likes chocolate syrup, eh? Huh. I just want, I want Ardo to go down. Um... What do you know about Sal? The only time I ever see Sal is when he gets drunk and comes by to pick a fight. Then I kick his butt and send him on his way. What about Francesca? I don't have much to do with her. They don't serve anything with chocolate in it at the pizza joint. He's legitimately... Nice guy. Good cook. Every national feed of bum day, he brings me one of his award-winning chocolate pies. Ugh. I don't think I've ever eaten chocolate pie. I think Chelsea used to fancy me. Until she found out my only true love was chocolate. Damn near broke her heart. <laughs> Brooke, he leaves me alone. Can't ask for more than that. All right. Thank you very much. That's everything that I need to know. Uh, let's go back into travel. Can I just do like a fast travel into my place? Because... <laughs> love that. Crime link computer. Yeah. So what do we know?
down 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 bow Caucasian male 63 to 64 300 pounds uh Okay, what else do we need to know? If he has any distinguishing marks and has any missing limbs? Okay. Right? Maybe he doesn't have. Okay, hold on. I said that he had two, but I don't actually know if that's true. Quit. Uh, I need help. Love this music. Enter clues. I did. The fuck. What in the fuck? Crime link computer. It's great music. It's, it's, uh, SoCal says, I'm going to be hearing this music in my head when I'm trying to sleep later. It's legitimately just going to get stuck in everyone's head. Said it was a big guy. It's not, it's not doing anything. Uh. <sighs> Getting annoyed. Getting very annoyed. Okay, what am I missing? Okay. 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 I'm just going through this, seeing if I have everything, and I do. So far. Did I do two eighty? Yeah, six three six four. Oh, what? It's supposed to trigger at this point. I actually don't know. Ah! Hey, Skull. Welcome. I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. Anchor. Oh! I said that he had... Shit. He's a tattoo of an anchor on his arm. Fuck. 
Why is this not working? I'm confused. Oh, okay. Guys, I Brimling computer is the only literally don't understand why it's not triggering. So janky. Love it. Okay, something happened. Now it triggered. What the fuck? Mech? Mick? Mick? Mick Flem. Mick Flem. Wow. What a name. Male, six, four, two eyes. Not a mutant. AB negative. Green eyes. Place of birth, San Francisco. Tattoo of an anchor. Born in 2003. <laughs> um... Alias says none. Burglary, mail fraud, attempted extortion, petty theft. Ah, <laughs> look at this. Oh, oh no, something's happening with my mouse. That's so weird. Why did it only maybe because I removed the scars because I had I had it set that it was tattoo and that he had a scar on his arm, which he didn't because I thought that it was anyway, I didn't read it properly. Maybe that's why I triggered. I don't know. Because I had eyes, two eyes before. So that's weird. The whereabouts of Mick Flem are unknown at this time. The SFPD are interested in questioning him about the recent disappearance and suspected murder of Rusty the Clown. <gasps> May have murdered Rusty. It is likely that Flem and Rusty were working together when Flem was arrested for illegally importing Asian novelty items. Flem may have murdered Rusty to get revenge for letting him take the fall. This theory has been supported by a, a, a street informant, Beek Nariz. Beek Nariz. Who claims to have seen Flem within the past few weeks. Nariz reports seeing Flem in an extremely intoxicated state, apparently hallucinating, Okay, saying that Rusty cl Clown's ghost was out to get him. Oh, wow. He's sexy. Um, tattoo on right arm. What a fox. Okay. I'm just going to use the travel. It's easier. Can I do that? Let's go talk to her first. <sighs> Excuse me. Yes, thank you. I will hydrate. It's so much easier. Hey, girl. I'm back. Chill. What can I do for you, Tex? So, I wanted to ask about a guy named M M Beak. Oh yeah, I know Beak. If you want to talk to him, you might try hanging out around Coit Tower. Oh, Coit Tower, eh? Okay. Ow. Getting cold again. Cold and hot. Cold and hot. Uh, alright, what about Mick? Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. So he's hanging out by the tower? Alright, let's ask other people if they know these people. 
Shit. What now, Murphy? Do you know? I don't know anything about that. What about Mick? I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Okay. What about uh, talking to the bum? Does the bum know anything about exit to this? Does the bum know anything about these? Why are you staring at me, you big creep? Oh, he's not there. Oh, he is there. That is so creepy. This, like... Oh. Ask away. Uh, Peek? Wish I could help. What about Mick? Oh, don't know a thing about it. Uh, end the conversation. Thank you, you big fucking creep. Maybe Louie will know anything about these people. Maybe they'll come in Louis. for some food or something. Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. What about Mick? Anything about him? Sorry. All right. Fine. Just try to be thorough. What about you, Francesca? Do you know anything about these dudes? Francesca, Lu <laughs> You look hungry, Tick. Yeah. Well, uh, heck, that wouldn't be too hard with all the delicious food you have around here, but I just need to ask you a few more questions. Um. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. Thought I would ask. All hell is broken loose. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. So let's go over. Do you think Aldo will talk to me now? Or all. What's his name? Ardo? Aldo. <laughs> the Golden Gate. I heard that Ardo. Yeah, he's not going to talk to me. I fucked up. I walk up the steps to Koi Tower and spot a small figure lurking in the shadows. In the half-light, I can see only the person's profile, but it's definitely Beak. As I walk towards him, he glances around, then approaches me warily, like a vegetarian sizing up a pot pie. What a weird comparison. <laughs> what are you staring at? Uh... Oh, good lord. You must be Beak Norris. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's me. But I ain't smelled you before. Who are you? Uh... Koi Dealmaker. I'm someone who'd like to make a deal for some information. Oh my god. What's that? Deal? Well, I'm listening. What you got? Uh... How about a different... Um, uh, how about a Inspector Burns mask? Would you like that? What's that? You're pulling my leg. Oh, he, okay. Do you want this balloon to put over your head so that no one can look at your hideous face? Ah, uh, come on. Give me something I can use. How about some batteries? Oh, I know. How about this gift certificate to get a different face? Okay, I can use this. <laughs> My nose has started sagging lately. Makes it hard to breathe. Now, That's what hilarious. kind of info are you looking for, huh? Oh my god. So funny. Um, hey, what do you know about um, Mick? Mick Flam's rap sheet would take a day to read. He's a fat scum. And he's an idiot to boot. That's why he's always getting caught. He's been busted for burglary, mail fraud, arson, you name it. Everyone knows he operates out of the Snow White Warehouse, but don't tell him. Snow White Warehouse? Where's that? Okay. Uh, what about you? Oh, I'm nobody. I just try to keep my nose clean and my ear to the ground. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Or was that vice versa? Okay. Um, let me ask you about other people. 
What do you know about the burglary? Rook's pawn shop was robbed by a two-bit crook named Mick Flem. He and his girlfriend have knocked off half Aha! a dozen pawn shops over the past month. The girl goes to a pawn shop and hawks a bracelet for a decent amount of cash. Then Flem breaks into the pawn shop and steals the bracelet, along with anything else he finds. Oh, uh, really? Okay. The bracelet is the bait Mick Flem uses for the pawn shop robberies. Great. Okay. Um. I think he's dead, and I'll bet Mick Flem had something to do with it. Word was the two of them were smuggling illegal novelty items from Hong Kong and Rusty Cross Flem. Ever since Rusty disappeared, Flem has had a terrible fear of clowns. Bozophobia. I once saw Flem pretty drunk, and he said he had nightmares of Rusty's ghost coming back to haunt him from the grave. He was completely terrified. Oh, well, I happen to have a Rusty Clown doll that I'm going to terrify him with. Love that. Okay. Um. I can't help you there. Do you know any of these other people? Chelsea! Hmm, smart girl and a real look at a boot. She's got a cute little nose. Oh, good God. Okay. Anyone with a hunker like that can't be all bad. Malden's no rocket scientist. But I hear that he's not on the take. I've helped him out a couple of times, so he leaves me alone. Oh, okay. Good to know. Big trouble. It's causing mutant blood to boil, and I don't want to be around when the bullets start flying. Uh-huh. I know a little about him. Runs a pretty successful PI business. Oh. Cool. I haven't got any info on that. What about Sal? She runs that pizza place with her husband, Sal. I don't know much about her. A true Italian knows, though. Oh my god, what? He lets his wife run the pizza joint. I don't know what he does. Though I've heard some things about who he does. <laughs> you can tell he drinks a lot by that snores of his. How many times does this person talk about freaking noses? This is weird. I can't help you there. All right, so Louie? I haven't got any info on that. All right, I think I've asked you about everybody. Thank you for your information. You've given me Snow White Warehouse. That's where I need to go next. Thank you, sir. The Acme Warehouse is the former Snow White dry cleaning building. Nobody's used this place in a while. So he's hiding out in this place? If Flem is working out of this warehouse, it looks like he got careless. Yes! The door's unlocked. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, let's get the fuck over here. And we're gonna confront him. If Flem is working out... If this is Mick Flem's hangout, he'll probably be back soon. I better try and set some sort of trap for him. Yummy! A bottle of turnip schnapps. I'll bet it's got a real kick. Ugh, probably spicy. Set a trap for him. Oh, what's that? That hook looks pretty heavy duty. This key must fit a lock around here somewhere. Ah. Another key, huh? Doesn't say anything on it. Don's locks? That's what I see. That hook looks... Okay. High voltage! This must be the power box for the warehouse. And it's locked. Well, maybe I have a key for it, huh? Hopefully this isn't a self-destruct lever. Okay, here we go. The sound is coming from up on the landing. Looks like the on-off switch controls a pulley hook. It's running back and forth along a track. So, this actually operates the pulley up on the land. Oh shit. Um, so it controls the pulley. And, hold on. Ooh, it's 
This barrel smells like it shouldn't be opened. Oh, but I want to open it. Does it have another body in it? Because that would be excellent. That old piece of plywood doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. But I can open Crate it. smells like laundry soap. Crate in front on the floor seems to be partially opened. Let's open it. Shit. What's that? Apparently some fireman dropped off his uniform to be cleaned and uh, forgot to pick it up. Fireman, eh? Oh, I can dress up like Fireman Bill or whatever his name is. Instructor Burns. Fireman Bill. <laughs> I was thinking, of what's his name from In Living Color? Um, anyway, whatever. Can I use this ring toss ring? Oops, sorry. I don't know what I would use the... I don't think I'll move any of these pallets because they look like big sl Yeah, I agree with you. What's this? Well, this is actually a storage compartment. Looks like it requires a special combination key. Hmm. Locked. Well, I happen to have a key from the alley. Can I use that on it? Well, that's not going to work. Fuck. Jesus. Well, this is a Hmm. Is there something that I can move that would have the key somewhere, maybe? I don't know. Why does that music happen? I'll have to remember this stack of two by fours when I get around to build. Uh, can we look down on the ground and see if I, oh my God. Stop! I don't think I'll move any. What's this? These large doors look like they haven't been opened since my last date. Am I missing something? Can I hide in there or something? Well, this is definitely the most threatening condemnation notice I've ever seen. How do I use this? No, I was enjoying that. Hello. That hook looks pretty. I can't. Am I? What's this? Nothing. Eh? Why did the music stop? That makes me sad. Okay, I'm cheating.
find and get the rusty clown doll. I did. Is that how I'm going to, like, bait him into... What? Oh, I know. Because I what I didn't do is I didn't um, examine this. Can't get over how lifelike this doll is. If it didn't have a hook on the back and a battery compartment, I'd swear it was Rusty himself. Oh my god, it looks like Conky. Conky, but a clown. <laughs> okay, so now I have to combine this and this to make... Then, do I hang it? Um. I'm just the heavy footsteps I hear must be phlegm luckily my rusty trap's all set I'll need to find a hiding place as close as possible to the pulley control box when phlegm least expects it I'll throw the pulley lever and bring rusty back from the dead oh that's so terrifying Ah, Conky! Oh, shit! Crate smells like laundry soap. Crate in front on the floor seems to be partially open. Crate smells like. Ah! Oh, my. Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. You are dead. Dead? Wow. Then you're the... the big P.I. in the sky? Did he kill me? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. Your life must be restored so that you may fulfill a higher purpose. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. I will do what I can to help you make your way, but only you can fulfill your destiny. But how do I hide in that now, box? go back and try not to get yourself killed again. You will know when the time is at hand. Allow me to remind you of PI rule number two. Hide from people carrying guns. Who do you think you are? Me? <laughs> Fuck to death. <laughs> uh, okay. I, 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 okay. But, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this, 10, 10, 94. <laughs> uh, the warehouse? Wait, what? Huh? What is happening? Was I supposed to save? <laughs> Fuck! Wow, okay, well what does this do? Wait, what? Oh, for fuck's sake, this Great is... smells like... Yeah, yeah. Great smells like laundry soap. What in the fuck? What is that? What is that? 
That was not there before. Oh, I think this... Uh, I've skipped ahead in this... <laughs> How did I skip ahead? It's so weird. <laughs> Uh, let's see what I have in my... Those are pre-created saves? Okay. Well, wonderful. Love that. I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do next. That door leads to the... I'm telling you, it's impossible. It can't be done. I've tried everything. The prophecy is very clear. We can't go- I feel better today than I've What felt. the fuck is happening? <laughs> okay. You know what? I think we need to... Um, we have to start from the beginning. And I don't feel like doing it. Because I'm completely, like, it's jumping back. Uh, way too much, jumping forward too far for me to even know what the fuck is happening. So last night, after 15 years, the colonel- Yeah. So, auxiliary panel, save, okay. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Should have known. I should have known. They don't do auto saves anymore. I mean, at that time, no auto saves. Fuck that. No, you gotta remember to fucking save. Ah! Uh, I don't feel like doing it again. But I think what I can do is off stream. I will play up until the point that we were at and save more often, so that when we pick up again uh, next time. That way, uh, yeah, that way that we're back where we were, or maybe a little bit farther, because I don't feel like doing that again. That's gonna, it's, that, that already took me three fucking hours to get there, or not even, two and a half-ish. I did not know that I was supposed to save. That's really bad. That sucks. Sucks a fucking lot. But now we know, and there's no way to quick save. I'm so spoiled. Like, give me quick save. <laughs> Mistakes were made! <laughs> but that's how you learn, so that's okay. Um, Alright, so what I will do is I will play up until that point so that we can get, you know, back on track. But I'm not doing that again, and I'm not going to play for six hours to try and get there. It's just not going to happen. Um, what time is it? It's almost 10. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. Although I likely will be, I'll do it right after this, but I'm not gonna make you sit through it. Uh, okay. Well, let's go back here. That was a lot of fun. I really am enjoying this game and I am glad that I found it because it was uh, everything that I did not expect, which I'll just mute this so you don't have to hear it. Uh, yeah, I did not expect that I was going to enjoy it as much as I did, but I am enjoying it. That's what's all that matters. So if you are follow or if you are watching and you don't already follow me, please go ahead, hit the follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live next. I stream on Thursdays and Fridays at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can support the channel by subscribing, which gives you access to my Discord, as well as uh, emotes, all that fun stuff. Uh, and or you can join my Patreon, which starts at a dollar US a month or $10 and change for an entire year, which gives you access to all of my music and my musical journey, but also supports this channel as well. So that would be very much appreciated. Definitely, certainly check it out. I will trigger it right now. So you can uh, certainly take the time, peruse. I'll be doing some changes, some cool things. I actually just released a song today to my to my patrons only. Uh, so if you'll, yeah, more, more incentive, check it out. If you, if you like my music, of course, <sighs> that was fun. I, I had fun. Mistakes were made, but I had fun guys. Enjoy your Friday evening. Enjoy your weekend. We will see you on Thursday. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do yet. 
Thursdays always it just kind of a, a come sneaking up on me and I'm like, oh my God, it's Thursday, shit. Uh, but uh, yeah, so now I don't really know what we're going to do on Thursday, but we'll figure it out. So Thursday, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. I will see you then. Have a good weekend. We'll see you later. Bye.